Hi, everybody. So today I have discovered, like, the coolest thing ever. So, like, this is, like, if Star Stable was real life. Like, literally, recently I was like, if Star Stable was real, like, that would be so cool. But then I realized, like, Star Stable, like, technically is a real thing, you know? Like, you could ride horses in real life, you know? So that's really, really fun. But a lot of us can't have a horse in real life, so we get robot horses, obviously. And a while back ago, I was talking about my butterscotch pony and s'mores pony. By the way, I have a second channel. If you want to watch me talk about those horses, then obviously go to the second channel. But the second channel isn't meant for only robot horses. It's actually meant for books, mythology, podcasts, etc. So anyway, I was uploading a video for my second channel today. And I found something so cool in my recommended, okay? We know I love robot horses. I found out that there actually is life-size robot horses. Like, not pony-size, like... Like, there actually is, like, life-size robots that actually, like, respond to touch and can hear you and are, like, so, so cool. So I'll insert one of the videos of them here. But basically, it's, like, the coolest thing ever. These horses come in different colors, okay? We got, like, white, gray, black, chestnut. It's so pretty. Literally, like, these horses are so, so cool, and I love them so, so much. But if I was to have them, I obviously can't because these are life-size. Like, literally, like, you would need, like, a really large house to be able to have one of these horses, as well as multiple of them as well. Like, like, you would need, like, actually a lot of space, I think. And I was like, bro, if I was a millionaire or, like, had a lot of money like that, I would have, like, a robot horse stable because that way I could, like, still interact with horses without having to, like, dedicate a lot of care and time to them because I am not the person for that, obviously. So if I could have robot horses, that'd be so cool. However, I found out these horses are sadly not for sale, but I still wanted to share them because this is so cool. I love how far technology is evolving because we are now able to have, like, fully fledged out, like, horse robots that, like, respond to touch and everything. They could hear you. It's so, so cool. I was reading up about these and there was people who were, like, who saw these horses in person and they legit were like oh i love your horse to the rider and the rider was like oh it's a robot like what they're so realistic i love that it's just so cool they look they they are so cool like they literally speechless they're so cool i love robots a lot and i just had to share these because they are so nice if i hypothetically had space for one of these horses if i could get one I would definitely get the chestnut one, or I would get the, probably the black horse, because that one's really nice as well. But it's so sad they're not for sale, but even if they were, I bet you they'd be, like, thousands of dollars. However, there is robots that are for sale, but are just really hard to get a hold of. But the horses are so cool. I love these horses so much. Do you imagine how much this would cost to ship? Like, Butterscotch and S'mores on FedEx are both, like between 300 to 700 dollars i think usps is the cheapest option but they won't ship butterscotch or s'mores but ups i'm pretty sure does but fedex is still expensive as well i think fedex is a cheaper option that actually does ship but imagine trying to ship these like giant life-size horses like they're life-size like they are the size of a real thoroughbred like that is so crazy to me and i would love to know who has these horses and if they would ever consider making them for sale because they could probably you know, sell them. Or maybe they can be made to order. That'd be really, really fun. I just really love how far technology is evolving to, and it's just, like, the coolest thing ever. Like, I obviously love my butterscotch pony and my s'mores pony. They are amazing. However, I love how, like, technology is, like, evolving. It's just so, so cool. I would never get rid of my butterscotch or s'mores pony, but if I could get the thoroughbred, I literally would have them all together, like a little, like, pony stable with a thoroughbred. It'd be, like, so cute. I just love robots a lot. It's just so cool how technology is. It's just, like, amazing. But maybe, like, a few years from now, they'll eventually be something you could buy. Obviously, most of us won't be able to get one because they're probably going to be very expensive if they do go on sale ever, you know? Like... It'd be, like, for the rich to buy, obviously, because, you know. 
it's kind of uncanny how realistic it is. Like, imagine if they had it set up somewhere and you were like, oh my god, a horse, and you ran over to it to pet it. Like, imagine you're petting this horse, you're like, oh, he's so sweet, he's so cool, and you realize, like, after petting him, because I don't think you could really hear the motor on these horses, so it's like, you're like, oh, it's a real horse, but then you realize, oh, it's not a real horse, it's a, it's like, it's a robot. I feel like that would be kind of creepy, because you're expecting, like, actual life, and then you realize it's not real. That is just so weird. Like, it's just so cool, but it's, like, so uncanny, honestly, but it is really, really cool. Like, we already have human robots who are pretty, like, artificially intelligent, so it's not a surprise that we now have, like, horse robots. Literally, if I was able to get one of these, like, life-size thoroughbreds, I would put it next to my s'mores or butterscotch pony and just pretend that- and pretend that s'mores or butterscotch are just foals. But yeah, I guess that is it for now. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!